All right, welcome back. Uh, I don't know what segment this is, but this is 9A. I'm We're at some point in life. It's probably segment 8. So <laughs> I want to say 8 or 9. I don't know. Um, this topic we have called bad parenting, it's, uh, it's nothing to joke about or laugh at, but uh, in the past week alone, here in our city, we've had two children or, oh, yeah. or babies. What are they, toddlers? They're toddlers, man. Two toddlers died oh, from. Fuck, uh, were they out in the yard? Anyway. From getting hit, from getting run over, pretty much. All right, we had one. Uh, I read about the first one. There was a, a a child who apparently knew how to unlock the doors at an apartment complex. Knew how to unlock the door, walk out, walk downstairs, and walk into a busy street. Apparently, that's what the parents te- taught taught him. <laughs> Uh, because he knew how to do it. There was there's four people living in this apartment, and not one of them were were watching this baby. It was a baby. It was like two years old. This baby apparently gets out of the door, walks out, gets hit by a, I think it got hit by an SUV once, and then it got hit by a cop car. So it crossed a major street. It got hit by an SUV and then a cop. Yeah. And the baby died. Oh yeah, uh, and scarred the scarred those people that were driving for life. Now, the parents ain't even in jail for that. Man, can you imagine that shit? I believe those parents should be in jail. You don't just say, "Oh, well, the kid knew how to do that, so it's not our fault." Um, I don't know what your take on that is, but that that is horrible. You have four people living in this apartment, and not one of them are paying attention to a baby. It sounds like they're just getting drunk and having fun. Wait a second here. It was an apartment? It was an apartment. With one fucking door? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said, you know, apparently this baby knew how to open an apartment door, walk downstairs, and into a busy street. All right, motherfuckers. That, my my apartment door, uh... We'll show you. We'll there show ain't you. no fucking toddlers gonna get out of that shit. All right. A toddler who's about yay high has to unlock these. Yeah. Right? Right. Open. <laughs> he yay even open the door. He yay even open the door. A toddler can go outside, walk downstairs, and into a busy street. And nobody saw. Nobody saw that shit. Nobody. Out of four, four adults, none of them saw. This kid got hit by an SUV and a cop. But it's okay because it wasn't their responsibility. They weren't at fault for a kid opening a door and walking into the street. Um, I think every one of those adults should be in jail right now. That kid is that that kid's death is their fault. Their fault. All right. And then there there was another accident recently of a toddler being run over by his uncle when the uncle backed up and ran into him so what's your take on that oh man the other one that the fucking yeah, uncle had I, I can say that's purely an accident fuck you know i've been to a lot of like family get-togethers where they got kids running around yeah 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 uh i i can you know, first of all i feel bad for the uncle i'm sorry for the guy yeah that- you know, not good, man. He's got to feel like shit. He's got to live with that shit, right? Imagine, for the rest of his life. Imagine how the tension would be between him and his sister or brother, whoever it is. <laughs> that he killed the baby. Uh, but that I mean, he did purpose, but but that's a good example of an, what what a real accident is and what is not, because they're deeming that other baby that walked out of that just say, hey mom, I'm gonna go take a bus, uh, walked out of the apartment and got killed, right? Well, what are the odds of that, man? What if a toddler unlocking the door twice in the same fucking week? Uh, no, no, I mean, but yeah, I mean, that's brilliant. Though. I mean, it's like, look, the uncle that ran over the toddler, that is a pure accident. Yes, that is an accident of, oh my God, you can't even imagine what you would feel like. You have the family feeling like crap. The uncle was probably just, I, I'm, hey man, I feel you, dude. But you cannot compare that to the accident that ha- I don't even call that an accident. I call that a death because those parents just let that kid walk out and, and, and die. Dude. I would, man, both of them are fucking ne- negligence. Yes, but one of them is truly an accident. 
Yeah, I say one of them's more. I think one I think more. Yeah, I think more of them is more of an accident than the other. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think both of them are just fucking more, based yeah. on stupidity. Yeah, no, stupidity, negligence, but you can see where I'm going as as oh, yeah. you can see like which one is the really degree. an accident. Yeah, which one is really an accident and which one isn't. The degree of accident. Yeah, one of them is far more than the other. I actually I don't even want to label that that one kid that got hit by two cars an accident. Those parents just let that boy walk out to his death. You got hit by fucking two cars, man. Yeah. And they'd be like, and they didn't even notice he was hit. Until <laughs> they said, where's the baby? There's, there's cops out there with the sirens calling people and they don't know what's going on. It's and like, fuck, man. Oh, there's my, my... Where's the kid? Oh, he's over here, he's over here, and he's over here. <laughs> right? Right, pretty much? Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You, you know, know, for them not to notice until there was a commotion in the street. They, you guys deserve to be in fucking jail. Yeah. Um, to to the to the uncle that hit your kid. Yeah, I we are truly sorry for your loss. At the very least, um, for negligence, right? Yeah, I mean, but you can't blame him. You no, can't, you can't blame the uncle. Fuck that. Yeah, kid. he's in a car. You can't see the little kid. No, no, no. You, you blame the pack. The whoever's fucking the parents. Look yeah, yeah. His ass, right? Yeah. You have to. I mean, who in the right mind lets a fucking toddler crawl out in the driveway? I mean, what the fuck is that shit? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. even let my fucking kid. Uh, crawl on the floor on a dirty ass floor anywhere, you know, by my by myself or by yourself. Yeah, that's I'm fucking just, so that's so fucking stupid, you know. But like I said, I mean, there's a there's a difference between that degree people, of accident and the other one. I people mean, take care of their dogs better than these parents did, man. Yeah, yeah, that's horrible, man. Right? I mean, um, I lean toward more to the the uncle that that hit the baby. I mean, nothing's happening. Nothing. No, I mean, no, nothing I know that did. because that that was an accident. It was a fucking accident. That was a true accident. Oh. <laughs> But for the first one, I mean, come on, man. I, I think those 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 adults that were in that apartment complex, I think they should be in jail for negligence. And you know, for them, they they have no right to be acting like they're a victim. Yeah, it's just. I mean, I think they're gonna if if they're human in any in in any way, they're gonna feel like shit for a long time. I hope they do, but you know, I you know, fuck it. So life. we'll leave that question open to y'all. What y'all y'all take on that? I mean, yeah, it's obvious. It's it's uh, negligence, bad parenting. Um, but I, I believe those those people that were in the apartment should be in jail. They need to be in jail. Yeah. For negligence. Fuck. Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah. If they can fucking get a good case on them and and, and just say you know what. Uh, no, I think the city should. I mean, the city should take their that. Kids at all. You know, at the very least, they're going to take away all their other kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CPS should step in. And, uh, I mean, at the very Look, least... Look, that, that's a standard apartment door that I just showed you. With the two locks and the you, knob. You're telling me a fucking toddler got out and of there? And a toddler can jump up or climb and, and get the top one like that? And most of them, some of them have the chains on it. You know that chain thing? Yep. Oh, but the toddler can, can do that. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. It, 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 don't, it don't seem fucking possible to me. But, uh, hey, man. If there happened, if, if the toddler had a stepping stairs and could carry it there and had the, the know the, the right intentions of knowing what locks to do and, and get, that is physically impossible. Physically fucking impossible. It's just, it's, it's challenging to them. <laughs> it is, man. It's fucking, uh, it don't make any sense. It don't make any sense. So, yeah, that should happen. Hey, what do you think about this bullshit with the, uh, the streets. They're renaming the streets and this is a big fucking problem. What are they renaming it to? Rename Durango into Cesar Chavez fucking what Boulevard. What do for? I don't know. They're fucking having a big problem about that shit. If they want to name it Cesar Chavez, why don't they just go back to Mexico where there's fucking Cesar Chavez is everywhere? You know, if I was the mayor, I'd be like, you, you know what? I'm not going to name it Durango or Cesar Chavez. <laughs> I'm going to name it Laz Street. I think they just leave it the way it is. What's the fucking point of doing it to Cesar Chavez? This isn't Mexico, goddamn it. I hate when they do that, man. It's bad enough every fucking corner on here we have a goddamn Mexican restaurant. Yeah, man. And none of them are any good. <laughs> it ain't that. I mean, and then you complain, the city complains about how we're not getting enough people here because we don't have businesses thriving anymore. Because you people don't allow it to make business. You I mean, guys, what? I mean, everybody comes here, right, to think of the American dream, and all they do is open a fucking Mexican restaurant. That kills the other opportunity for the little guy to make an actual better business that he might have, what? instead of having a, a fucking restaurant on every corner. 
That's why our city ain't getting any people or anything. What kind of restaurant would you open? I wouldn't open a restaurant. I'd open a business. Like what kind? Anything. A business. Like, what would you sell? I have a, a friend, Jenny. Yeah. Uh, she has a decent business that she can't open because everywhere here there's this Mexican restaurant. She sells uh, baby products. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. She designs and she creates baby products. Uh, you talking about uh, baby wipe holders? Oh, sure. Uh, baby bottles with, with certain design. Anything like you an want to Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, let's say, uh, let's say this beer, I'm sorry, was, uh, was a baby bottle, right? She could just design it. Your little hearts. And oh, yeah. Put and stuff designs like that. and shit. Uh, or put a, uh, a cover, a leather cover with, with designs on it. All right. Uh, people, that is a general business. People will go there because there's a lot of babies. Wait, so that'll be your business? Well, I mean, you said what type of business would I want yeah, to open? Like that? It's not my business, but I used her as an example. Okay, so what would be your business? I don't know. It ain't gonna be no fucking restaurant. What would you want to do? I'd probably do something like alien type stuff. So what, what, like conspiracies, books, and stuff like that. Something oh, like you like a bookstore? Stuff. Yeah, well, a bookstore and maybe a little comic shop in it. Something like oh, that. okay, that'd be nice. So A fucking of, bookstore uh, with a comic. Yeah. Sounds good. And you can buy like a coffee there or something like that. Have yeah. a little lobby. Instead of a goddamn Mexican restaurant in every corner. I hate that, man. The city is killing itself with, with fast food and, and the Mexican restaurants. That's not a city. That's Mexico. <laughs> That's what gets me mad, man. It's like, Jesus. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that the... Uh, uh, I really give a fuck about... Uh, these businesses or people that want to eat get fat. I don't give a fuck what they do. I don't care if they're going to kill themselves with food. I don't care if they're going to open up a business. Uh, life goes on, man. You know, uh, uh, every day is a different thing. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying to the to the people who complain about how the city is not big enough or or wonder why we're not getting any thriving businesses, that's why. You know, I think that the reason that uh, nobody wants to come here is it's fucking hot. And every chick here has a kid, so, you know, what the fuck, you're not going to be here? Uh, not true. I mean, if, if this city had awesome businesses instead of just restaurants, people would come here no matter the climate, no matter what the climate. Right? Awesome business. Yeah, like, I That's all they need. Just awesome businesses. Hmm. That's how you attract people, right? Right, 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 right. I think that the problem is that there's That's no... That's how food. a city grows. Yeah, with awesome businesses. New York didn't start off like that. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they just need good fucking jobs here. That's what they need. Maybe we need other people besides Mexicans. I <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna fucking happen, man. Because uh, there's fucking there's Mexico there. There's, not, there's gonna be too many. There's not too many fucking Mexicans. I'm just saying, I mean, I I get tired of seeing that though, man. Nah, but I mean, what are you? What else are you gonna have here? Fucking white people and honkies? Anything, man. Like, well, they, they'll, they'll open anything up. They sell booze, sell something. I'm just tired of seeing fucking tacos on every corner. You know how annoying that is, and how it just sits back. They, they sent back their own people to like hundreds of years ago. You know, <laughs> so let's open up a fucking Mexican restaurant. I mean, I don't have nothing against bacon and egg tacos. Here. All right, <laughs> but I can do that here, though. Well, yeah, you can do that here. You know, but uh, you know. I, if that's the only fucking way these people can make money, I yeah. fucking let them do it. But you know what? Uh, it's, it goes in cycles, man. You see a Mexican restaurant open up over here, and they're gone in six months. Okay, and then after that, something else opens there. Yeah, but when that one opens, a week later, there's another one that opens, and a week later, another one opens. Yeah, so it's like you got the, uh, what, you got the... But there's never any the, real business. So you got La Taqueria, and then the next month, six months later, you got the best... Taqueria, yeah. you get you know, La Mama's Taqueria. Or the only taqueria. Yeah, the only, <laughs> oh, And then man. you get La Casa Taqueria, and then, and then you get a different one after that. It's all the same. You know? I don't know. It just, it just rem I, I felt like idiocracy in a movie with these, these restaurants, you know? <laughs> yeah. You got a war against these guys, man. Well... You've been it's talking like, about this war for a while. It's like war against each other, man. I don't know. Like they're just they're stopping. It's like stopping a city from evolving, stopping each other from getting any any other. It's better. A, it's, it's it's a. Uh, we'll come back. We'll come. We'll return. Oh, we'll return.